Hi Capricorn, how are you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. This is your reading for the fifth week of January 2021. You guys, remember to give this video a like, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel. Comment your sign and your situation down below at your earliest convenience. And as always, this is a general reading. So um, some messages will resonate with you. Some messages may not resonate with you. So to get a reading that resonates with you fully and only for you, you need a private reading. You can get that by checking the link in the description bar down below. All right, so we've already got a card that came out here, a message. And this week, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. There will be some closeness between you and this person this week, but also it's the perfect amount of closeness versus, you know, being on your own or independence. So, <clears throat> so giving yourself, giving each other space while also loving each other. I feel like there's a lot of closeness, like 50, 50. Okay. And that's the energy of this week. And it just let it be free. Like, don't try to force the connection this week. Just let it be free because for the same amount of closeness, there will be equal, if not lesser amounts of separation and space. So a beautiful balance is being, you guys are striking a beautiful balance this week in this connection. And then they also have a message for you. And so what they want to tell you this week, Capricorn, is I'm thinking of you. This very moment, your love fills me with light. I love you. This person is saying, I love you. Scor I mean, Capricorn. I'm also hearing Scorpio. Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. We have Scorpio in your chart. And if that's the case, then this person, this message is very strongly from your person to you. How gorgeous is this week starting out already? Well, every week is beautiful. So it's as beautiful as every other week, as I always say. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at <clears throat> the oracle message. So I feel like a lot of you guys have had really tough experiences in love or you've had one big one recently, and you're gonna be having a lot of spiritual growth from this very difficult experience that you had, this recent, this old relationship or recent breakup or recent experience. It's gonna give you so much wisdom and um, don't worry about anything happening. Nothing's gonna happen. It just feels like you're getting a lot of wisdom and love and you're also, your heart. Sorry about that, you guys. Your heart is, it's an alarm. Your heart is warming up and you're also getting growth this week. You may be dealing with a ice queen, some of you guys, but you're also, you're learning about ice queens and you're understanding about, you know, healing from heartbreak and heartache, but also having the, the, shrewd, the shrewdness to also protect yourself from any other sort of intrusions in your heart by trusting your heart. So, Rather than letting the ice cream freeze you up, let her energy warm you, thaw you, right? Thaw you to connections by learning the truth about certain connections and certain things while also learning truths about yourself. So this is a very deep week. And that's what I feel like you're doing in this time where there's space. But in this closeness, things are still just as beautiful as they always were, or they're becoming more beautiful as in the coming days. Things are always getting better. And I also feel like you're experiencing and getting some spiritual growth. So, you know, growing in your spirituality and your beliefs and all that such, or getting closer to your own personal spirituality, Capricorn, that is also happening this week. And it's very strongly impacting your love relationships. 
um, because it's just, it's advancing, it's taking it to where it is that you want it to be. I want to get a message from this person, but I don't want to look at it just as of yet. I feel like there are some religious things that are impacting your connection with this person. It could, it could have always been, could just be happening this week. It's feel, I feel like 50-50. So I feel like 50-50, okay? Let's have a look at this person this week. I think I'm going to use this other deck. Okay, so this person is a soulmate. There's a very strong soulmate connection and a very strong emotional connection between the two of you guys. And you can trust how you feel about them. So they want to invest. They want to really be secure in this connection and they want to be secure in their choices. They're planning for a very solid future with you. So in the recent past, they communicated something to you. Something was very it could have been something kind of big. It could have been something not very big, but they got something off their chest to you. They, they communicated something to you. And this actually opened up the communication on this connection. Now you're going to see it's going to flourish and there's not going to be many things you guys would say to one another. So they communicated to you about the things that were on their heart. They had a lot of healing. They um, had a lot of heart chakra upgrades and increases and stuff. And so they started talking from their heart and they started communicating even about this connection, like the things that they say about this relationship, it's high vibrational. It's much higher vibrational than it was possibly before, or I'm getting an energy of it not always being this way for you right? And even for them. So even if you guys, this person never talked badly about this connection, they may have looked negatively or frowned upon love in the past or frowned upon loving you or felt like they couldn't open up their heart to you because they couldn't open up their heart to themselves. This has to do with themselves. This is a perfect example of someone having things within themselves and projecting them onto others. <clears throat> and needing healing in order to not project that onto other people anymore. And so they got that healing. And so once they got this healing, then they started speaking from this healed heart. So this is a lot of expansion in this connection on this person's side. This could also be vice versa. This is, this is also vice versa for some of you guys too, where maybe you started speaking from your heart Right. But I have no doubt this person, their heart opened to your heart opened. And so did theirs. And the communication in this relationship is amazing. I don't like I keep saying, I don't think there's many things you guys can say to one another. So feel free to say what it is that you want to say. And this is guidance. So, you know, whenever I repeat things over and over again, a lot of you guys need to know that that's guidance. OK, that that is you really need to listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> you didn't catch it, I had to repeat it. So you can, there's not many things you can't say to this person, so feel free to open up and share with this person. If you were thinking about something, feel free to do it, okay? There's not many things you can't say to them. There's a lot of healing that's taken place in the past in your life and also in their life. Whether you consider this a connection, some of you guys, I'm feeling, watching this, you're like, well, I don't really know if this is a connection or I'm not really sure if this is a connection or what because of whatever it is, but it is a connection in the eyes of the spirit in the universe and God and in the eyes of love, it's a connection. 
and you guys can talk about a lot of things. So feel free to open up. This person, they may have, you know, opened the door and reached out to speak to you. <clears throat> and if there has been a bridge, a lack of communication in the past, they, they don't want that to happen again. That is not a likelihood again. So let's move on to the present now. So now this week, they're showing up really happy. This person showing up really happy. So they're really happy about something. They might not be so willing and ready to share it just as of yet, but they're very happy about something. And it's something that they're wanting to keep to their chest. And it is something about this relationship. Okay, this relationship for them has gone to another level. They have um, confronted that part of their shadow that was holding them back from ascending to a new level in this connection. And now they're going to that other level in the connection. They're not necessarily opening up and sharing everything with you. We can have a look at why. And it's because there are things that they want to walk away from first, but um, they, they, you know, are not ready to open up and share just as of yet what this is, but they're happy. And it's about a conclusion of a cycle in their life that also allows this connection to ascend to another level. And it's a peaceful level. It's a level where there'll be so much healing and learning and growth and expansion and understanding and lessons being learned while also peace. There's a beautiful rainbow I'm looking at. So, uh, you know, bright times. So they're celebrating their happiness. They've received, they feel very happy in this connection because they've received something very happy. Um, either happy news from you or, you know, divine insight in their dreams or something, or just even something very positive happening in this connection that ultimately speaks very highly to them. Like it makes them feel very positive and light and bright. So there is something very positive that has taken place either in your life, in their life, or in this connection that is making this person heal their issues of abandonment and feeling shut out while also celebrate and be happy in the moment with this relationship. I also feel like as a result of this happy energy this person is feeling, they're also coming out and celebrating and doing more fun things with you. They may have had a habit of hiding before, like keeping things to themselves before, but now they are wanting to come out of hiding. And I feel like eventually you're gonna know what this is because it's nothing that you need to be fearful of Capricorn but they're going to be very happy to share this with you. I'm also hearing Libra, but I just feel like there are things that they need to walk away from first before they can share this with you. Okay. All right. So they are wanting to get strength over something in this relationship. They want the power to do something and the power to you know, overcome something that's hindering this relationship or something in this relationship. So they want the power to build. They're asking God, the universe for strength to be able to secure a solid foundation with you and to secure this relationship. You know, they're healing a lot of their chakras and this is something associated with their base or root chakra. So their issues with abandonment, once again, are coming up again, once again, and they're needing to be solid within themselves, making peace with the past, yet also making peace with their heart, healing their heart and their emotions as well, while also choosing emotions of love. They are getting all the strength to do that. And it's because this is guiding them and this is also going to heal them as well as this connection. They also want to give this connection more life. They want to solidify it. They want this to be more real. They want everyone to know that the two of you guys are together. They want to shout this from the rooftops, but they, they don't even, it's not from a place of insecurity. It's from a place of 
Like they know that they deserve to be with you. They know that this, that the two of you guys deserve one another because the two of you guys are soulmates and there is a soul bond. There's a soul connection. They cannot deny it. They know this, but at the same time, there's these issues with abandonment that are kind of needing to be overcome. A few habits that are also needing to be overcome and also healing that with time needs to take place as well for them to get to this place. I feel like this is what's happening though because they're really assuming this energy and they're taking on this power. And there's many things that they can do with this powerful energy. <clears throat> And it is something that they strongly desire to do. It is their strongest desires for this. So there's no way that this, that this person you know, does not want to make this happen and won't make this happen because of how strongly they're feeling for you. Their feelings of love towards you, their passion for you, that's obviously deepening here. And they feel like they... If they've been resisting your love before, they've been resisting like your passion, your body, like going for you, Capricorn, they're not going to be resistant for much longer. They're not. And it's because this is what is needed to heal this relationship. They kind of need to get these messages and heal the chakra for this connection to um, grow. So now they're, they're getting strength now. And it's to manifest their dreams, to bring their dreams to reality. So their message to you is that you're their soulmate. You have the soulmate card. <laughs> okay. That's their message to you. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay. So that's their message to you this week. They're thinking of you. They love you. And yes, I am your soulmate. That's what they're saying. Yes, 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 yes. Not so you stop, you know, dreaming about it, but just so you do. You don't worry about dreaming about it. You can dream forever and ever and ever because it's not a wasted dream. It's not a pipe dream. They love you. So you can think loving thoughts. So in the near future, they're further confirming their feelings for you and they're exposing it more and more. It becomes more and more clear this week through some action that they're taking that they are <clears throat> dedicated to proving and showing you the truth that they don't want to go anywhere, that they're not budging, okay? The truth of the matter for them is that they're not budging. And so I feel like this person, they have worries about this connection that they could speak about. They may talk about it. They may not talk about it, right? But this is definitely happening here where there are some concerns. There are some overthinking that goes on in this person's head, but they're coming to the truth and realizing that they're not going to let you go anyways. So they might as well just give in right? They might as well just give in and stop worrying and just enjoy and be happy. They do the same thing too, because this is a soulmate connection, right? This is a further proof that this is a soulmate connection, because they're telling you not to worry. They worry too. So they're getting to the truth behind a particular worry that the two of you guys have had in the past. And this might've been around money, might've been around this person's ability to give and take. It could be your worry, around give and take this person like oh will they give back to me yeah you know but this person they also worry about you giving back to them you know so but they wonder will this person give back to me or you even you're like will they will this give back to me but you know of course it's an unnecessary fear because this person's not willing to back down their energy it's more like for them it's more like can i give to capricorn and that was the best way for me to explain it for them it's more like can i give you what you're giving to me because i feel like you give a lot but they don't realize that they have the capacity to give the same amount because it's in them too and that's why the super guys are relating so they're eventually they're getting this divine download 
right? They're getting, you know, somehow an, an ancestor, their spirit guides are getting in contact with them and giving them complete sureness and surety. And you're also getting truth in this connection this week as well. <clears throat> So that's also going to help you as well this week. But they're not backing down. And they're going to, sometimes they're realizing that sometimes they're, they have to wait. You know? Like they're like, you know, sometimes I have to wait. And I also feel like there's something around waiting that this person is also getting wisdom about. And that's the reason why this person doesn't have to worry about this connection going wrong not because eventually turn out it's because i feel like right now it is turning out because this person's learning about waiting and how waiting actually puts things off more and it actually take puts pulls the opportunity further away from you so instead of waiting and anticipating be more in the energy of doing and that's the strength that they're getting now to be in the energy of do and being the energy of now, okay? And being in the energy of now is what is what this connection needs right now. And they know this now and they're ready to give this connection what it needs. And, you know, they're ready to bring in some change if need be. All right. <laughs> Oh, nice. Capricorn's got a soulmate this week. So adorable and cute. Capricorn's got someone confirming and being like, hey, you know what? You're my soulmate. Stop. <laughs> Not that you guys were doing anything, though. Okay. So I feel like you're just, you really have been working very hard on this relationship. And you don't have any um, plans on stopping. Oh, my God. This is definitely going to be quite a showstopper for you, Capricorn. It's definitely going to shock you what this person does, okay? Because I feel like you have been really anticipating this person to commit, this person to prove to you their commitment, you know? But I feel like you've been going about it trying to prove to them. Like, I feel like you guys have been originally, maybe you were thinking, I need to show them how much I love them, right? But in reality, what you're going to realize this week is how much this person loves you. Like that this person has been trying to prove to you how much they love you. Like there's a little bit of a catch 22, a little bit of like a, you know, a tag you're it sort of energy that I can see playing out energetically. And, and, and it feels like it's happening in, it's the energy, right? A little bit of thoughts, but it's not as much thoughts as it's in communication through communicating. There's like a hoopla moment or a wowza moment where it's kind of like flipped on you, like not the script, like not in a bad way, not like I'm gonna flip the script, nah, not like that, but <laughs> it's more like, um, you know, the negative script on yourself or possibly how, oh, I just need to keep proving to myself how much I love them. And in reality, it's like, maybe this person has been trying to prove to you how much they love you, you know? But there's definitely, there's not a hint of shame that is felt from my Capricorn loves or, or off you, that you guys are not going to feel a hint, a hint of shame or feeling bad for my dear Capricorns watching this, obviously. It's not, you know, it, if it's, it's a shocking revelation for you about this relationship that solidifies your commitment to this person, but it's because of how much this person's actually committed to you. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I wanna hop over there right now. Oh, I wanna see what this is. I wanna try it out. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, wow. Oh my goodness. You're having a crazy realization about this person. That's so positive. And I feel like it's it also is coupled with you releasing, you know, some possibly not so positive beliefs about this person that you've held about them that didn't come from them. You know, it didn't come from them. It either came from you, your past life, you know, it's like more like a projection. Oh 
Oh my God, this is healing. This tower moment is exceptionally healing for you. This is a good tower moment. This is the, the good tower. And I've had quite a few good towers. And listen, this is a good one. This is, you're very, you're like, wow, you're gonna feel really good after this. Because it's clarity and it's, it's healing. It's healing. I just feel like, you know, you're ready to do whatever it is that you need to do. And you're working towards the happiness of this relationship. And this person, it shocks you how much they're working towards that happy outcome too. I mean, what a gorgeous reading, but for an equally just as gorgeous sign, shall I add. All right, my darling Capricorn, God bless you guys. We will talk next time. Bye-bye. Oh, feel free to follow the socials as well. Bye-bye.